Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm. Hey everyone, it is your girl Aishana, also known as Naturally Here For You, back with another video. Let's just make sure that we subscribe, we hit that thumbs up button, and we share with a friend. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that bell so that way you can be notified whenever I drop a video, okay? <laughs> so today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's um near and dear to my heart because if some of you guys know i have a brand with bay um called black brew babes um i'll leave it down here so you guys can go follow us on instagram we have a brand that is geared towards craft beer and basically what our i guess you can say mission is getting people um getting black women involved in beer um craft beer to be exact just knowing that there are other avenues out there you don't only have to to drink it we just want people to know that it is very inclusive it is very diverse compared to what you may think you always see or know that is like you know just always a white men driven and honestly it is a bigger community than you ever would have guessed anything that we would have guessed some of you guys may know but recently we did release our beer um we did a collaboration with craft women connect and a local atlanta brewery here named pontoon brewing this is what our beer looks like. It is named Pomona Paradise and it is basically a beer that is geared, well Pomona comes from, she's the goddess of fruits, plants, orchids, all things of that such. And that's why we named the beer that because we geared this towards Women's History Month. This beer has mangoes, raspberry, black rat blackberries and lime how cute is that we were introduced to do this collab from the atlanta podcast they have something called brewing conversations and they asked us and craft women connect to come on and make a beer with pontoon and there was a whole panel and if i have some clips from that day i'll go ahead and link it in here so you guys can see and um some pictures and whatnot but if you really want to see more head over to our instagram and you can see all things such with that but today's is Dun, 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 dun. National Beer Day. Forgive me if this does not come out on National Beer Day, but I plan to try and get this video up today for you guys. But today I wanted to go ahead and create a makeup look gearing towards that, gearing towards the can art. For our release, we only had women vendors. So we had three women vendors, and of course the beer was created by women. So I want to keep that theme going. And all my makeup today is going to be by black owned women. Yes. So today we are going to be using some Juvia's Place. We are going to be using some Fenty. We are going to be using some Beauty Bakery. Um, we are going to be using some Minted Cosmetics. Okay. All things women and black okay i have already moisturized my face with the hydra visor from fenty now i'm gonna go in with my true matte by fenty i'm gonna go ahead and put that on and if i don't tell you what something is or like what shade i'm using i'll leave it down in the description box below but guys i thought this would be pretty cool pretty fun give you guys a little a little insight on what the rest of my world is like outside of youtube and i'm gonna show you guys what the beard looks like i'm gonna pour it for you all but we got orange yellow green purples reds and this beautiful color Look how pretty she is. So, these are the colors that we are going to be focusing on when it comes to eyeshadow. And um, we may even do some blush today. <laughs> we are going to start with our Ease Drop shade 20. If you have not seen that video, go ahead and catch that. I will link it up above for you. I will let you know that I have been wearing this um, more often and I am loving this stuff thus far. I already shook her up. 
I wore her this past weekend and man, my face was like bomb.com. Y'all, that's so good, so refreshing. So I have my Fenty Concealer, shade 350. We're just gonna go ahead and put this under our eyes, forehead, chin, uh, and maybe nose. I don't normally do this nose thing, but we are gonna try it out today, okay? So if it don't work out, or don't look like how you normally see it's supposed to look, please don't come for me. <laughs> what I like to do next is let this sit for a bit, and then I like to go ahead with my contour. This isn't black owned, unfortunately. Sorry guys, it's like the only con uh, contouring stuff that I do have, but it's from the Lorac Pro, and I'm gonna use the deep, my Turks and Caicos. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. And now I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. I have the Honey from Fenty Beauty. And then I also have Cassava from Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna mix those two. Okay guys, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with my eyeshadow. I'm literally about to just go for some items. <laughs> Go for some colors and make it work from there. Um, I'm gonna start with Fulani and Burkina, which are two browns, which is Fulani and Burkina. I'm just gonna mix those two as my base, which it kind of gives you like a brown, orange type of effect. Okay. Now, also, this is from the Masquerade palette. And I have the Saharan palette as well, which is this one. I think I'm going to use Jamila out of this one. I think I'm gonna put that at the top. Kinda make it a gradient from the browns. And I'm no professional. This is all just the way I like to do my makeup. Now I think I'm gonna go in with Zobo. And now I think I'm gonna go in with this Makita. It's more of a darker purple. To bring out that last one. I'm gonna blend those two together. How we looking, how we looking? Okay, what's next? Um, I'm gonna put my eyeliner on. There's some black eyeliner in my water duck. Or my, what do, what do they call it? I think it's called that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this excess off. Um, my pressed powder is not a part of the black home. It is LA Colors. It's my favorite one that I use. Some bronzer. This is from Beauty Concepts. I think I got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think I'm going to do a little bit of white eyeliner. This in there. I am going to, under my eyes, go in with this Calabar. I think that'll be pretty. All right, I think I'm done with shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on off camera and then I will be back to you guys. 
Okay, so I have my lashes on. I am now gonna go in with my Hustle Baby highlighter, which looks like such. If you guys seen my Fenty video, I used it in that, and I use it like literally on everything. So I like to put that in the inner corner of my eyes. I a lot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on my nose. A little razzle dazzle. And then I also like to put some across my cheeks. It's right there. As baby would like to call it, the gold stuff. <laughs> and then I usually put some right here. So you know like when the camera hits you, you glowing all over baby, okay? So there's that. Now we are going to spray with our What It Do from Fenty. All right, let that set. And then lippies, we need a lippy. So for my lippy, I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with Coralition from Minted Cosmetics. It kind of gives me, you know, like the mango vibes. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a sip again. So good. Put this lip gloss on. So that's Coralition. I think I'm gonna add something else to it though. I got this lipstick from Flesh, which is also black on. Um, this one is called Prime and she looks like such. I think I'm gonna add her on top. I probably should've put her on for first, but. Okay, yeah. Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna put Coralition on top of that. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone because I normally would've did like a pink nude, so. Here's the face. I don't know if I should have used the lip liner, but here we are. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take down my hair and then show you the full. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, your girl got curls. Curls for the girls. This is the final look. How'd I do? Look at the eyes. Look at the beard. My lips. Eyes. I think I did pretty darn well, I, if I say so myself. So I just wanna say happy National Beer Day. Thanks for tuning in with me, um, trying something new. You know, I've been wanting to do something like this for quite some time and this was pretty fun. So we may have to keep doing these kind of things and then I think it'll also help me with applying eyeshadow and learning different things of that such. So here we are. And if you're curious about these curls, be on the lookout. I'm gonna definitely be telling you guys who did this because they bad. <laughs> Anywho, um, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with a friend, and hit that bell so that way you can be notified whenever I drop a video. Later guys. Later guys. Cheers. Cause you